So far in the 2023 college football recruiting rankings, we still have the typical top 10 teams, Notre Dame at number one, Penn State at number three, Ohio State at number four, Georgia at number eight, Tennessee at number nine, and USC at number 10. But the team I never expected to see in the top 10 in recruiting in football is the University of Louisville Cardinals, who sit in nicely at the number seven spot with four four-star recruits and six three-star recruits. All right, just want to throw a little update here uh, while I was editing the video. Looks like uh, Louisville got another four-star recruit. Looks like one uh, one of the recruits uh, got bumped up to a four-star. Um, Adonija Green um, out of Georgia got bumped up to a, uh, a four-star. So good job for them. They're doing a, they're really doing a very, very good job of recruiting. So uh, good job to them. They just want to throw a little update. So the question is how? How does a team that under current head coach Scott Satterfield is just 17 and 18 in his three years at the helm of the program and while the COOF does come into play within home visits and on-campus visits, etc. But every team has to deal with the COOF. It probably has a good deal to deal with it. That is why NIL is such a great thing for the student athletes. But here's the thing many people didn't know or weren't thinking about. Uville had to continue to fork out millions of dollars to a previous coach who shall not be named, but his name rhymes with Flemingino. And while UofL as a whole can easily pay out millions, they can't recruit at the level they are this year without a recruiting staff. And that is what positions they have been able to fill this year. All thanks to the former interim athletic director and now permanent athletic director, Josh Hurd. When Hurd was introduced as AD after the resignation of Vince Tyree, he went to the coach and asked him, what do you need? And to make a long story short, football needed recruitment department help. And that help has brought in talent this school has never seen ever really in one class. Commits like four-star recruit DeAndre Moore Jr., four-star cornerback Aaron Williams, four-star cornerback slash assistant lead recruiter Pierce Clarkson, four-star Jalil McClain, and a squad of talented three-star recruits. And before they were able to fill those positions, UofL was sitting well below the UofL standard the fans that hold the football program to. And I mean well below. It was in the 100s in the rankings, which is never a good sign at a Power 5 score nonetheless, especially after the last time the team was on their home field, they got completely embarrassed 52-21 to by their rival. But could this class save Scott Satterfield's job? I believe that if the product on the field doesn't show vast improvement in the win column, I don't think it does. I know for a fact the fans want to see wins, as every fan wants to see wins. I am willing to say that a majority of fans are still cautiously optimistic after the flirtations with a coach who tried to hide an interview with South Carolina after an amazing year one. But winning heals a lot of wounds. And if Satterfield wins this year, this class will be remembered for a very, very long time here in Louisville.